name's Daniel Stubberfield, I'm 26 years old and I live and work in Darwin. My name's Lewis Hamlin, I'm 24 years old and I also live and work in Darwin. Football coaching company based in Darwin. Uh, we mix football and sport with, with education, so we, we do different subjects uh, to try and make it fun and interesting for children and, and, and show them that maths and learning and, and you know it does it is going to be important when they leave school and it is going to play a, an important part in their life. We both wanted to be professional footballers, that was what we, we always dreamed of doing. We didn't become footballers, but we became the next best thing, which was a football coach, and it's a, a job that we're, you know, we really enjoy. And you know, if, if we'd quit and give up when we got to, we couldn't play football. Um, you know, we'd probably do a, a very difficult and, and horrible job that we wouldn't enjoy. But thankfully, you know, we didn't we didn't believe that we couldn't do it. You know, we kept going, and, and we've got a job we, we really love. I think um, when you sit at school and you're reading out of textbooks. Sometimes it gets a little bit boring, but you don't realise how much it is in everyday life, how much it is in sports, and everything that you do involves something that you did at school, whether it be maths, English, science, geography, history, all the subjects you do at school, they're heavily involved in everyday life as well. I think the difficult thing for a, a secondary school or even a primary school child to do is have a little bit of a, a vision and say, you know, in five years' time, this is where I want to be. And I remember when I was at secondary school, I, all, my only concern was you know, getting through school, trying to pass my exams, and it's very difficult to look five or six or even ten years ahead. But I think if you can do that and say, you know, when I finish school, this is where I want to go, this is what I want to do, and, and you know, desi decide very early that, you know, nothing's going to stop you. You're going to do whatever it takes and, you know, really put in the hard work and, and you know, be more dedicated than everybody else because there will be other people that want the same thing as you, so you've got to do more than them, you've got to try harder than them, you've got to learn better than them, uh, and eventually you'll get there. The best part of it has been obviously watching the children at the end of it um, when they're all excited and they're buzzing and, and you can see they've had a really good time and you've influenced that. That's obviously the best part of our job is, is seeing the reaction from the kids at the end of the day. I think there's nothing better. I mean, I watch my one of my family members. He comes home from work every night. He works in a factory. He sits on a settee and he collapses you know, and falls asleep. Uh, you know, I, I realise I'm really lucky. I've got a really easy job um, that's, that's enjoyable. You know, kids really enjoy playing football, so... You know, I come home and I'm, I've, I've, I've had a good time at work and I've enjoyed myself and, you know, obviously it pays quite well as well, uh, which is obviously a big bonus. I, I was born in Darwin, I've lived in Darwin all my life, apart from the couple of years when I was living out in Bolton, but like I said, there's no place like home and it's brilliant living in Darwin and working in Darwin and affecting the people in yeah, our local area. I want to give a little bit back to Darwin, this is where I want to be, this is where I'm happy to live and, you know, this is where I see my future. Very easy for people to tell you that you're not going to be a footballer, you're not going to be a football coach. You know, I think the best thing is, you know, stick to what you believe in. If you think you can be a football coach, you go and follow your dream. You work hard, you prove people wrong. Um, you know, if you listen to everybody that tells you you can't do something, then you probably won't ever do anything. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing is believe in yourself, believe in what you want, and go and get it.